Hello, Heart Elementary. Miss Davis back. Happy April 2nd. Hope you had a great um, April Fool's Day. I know I did because I was inside and so nobody got to prank me. What up? I got away with it. Um, but I hope you had a great April Fool's Day and I hope you didn't pull any too mean pranks on your siblings and I hope they didn't pull any too mean pranks on you. Um, we're gonna jump right into the news today. The news is not like I'm not going to go crazy with it. It's just going to be um, the top stories I've been following this week and I think that you guys would like to hear about. Okay. Um, first of all, I personally love the Olympics. My whole family gets around and we cheer them on. We're super excited about them. Unfortunately, it is official that they have decided to postpone the Olympics until 2021. It is a bummer, but it is kind of fun because... This is going to be the first ever Olympics since we started it in the modern era where it's been held on an odd year. Okay, so you know Olympics usually happen every two years. So we have the Summer Olympics, so we had one in 2016, we have having one in 2020, and then we have um, the Winter Olympics every four years. So we had one in 2018, and we're going to have one in 2022. Okay, but... We are going to have a Summer Olympics now in 2021 instead of 2020. So first odd-numbered Olympics in the modern era. Um, we're also going to get to have Olympics back-to-back, -back, which is going to be super fun for all of us. So we're going to get to do summer and then immediately jump into Winter Olympics um, that next year. So it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Um, so one thing that I saw that was really, really cute and fun is that um, some zookeepers at some of the bigger major zoos are getting to live my childhood dream and they are getting to stay in the zoo with the animals during this whole month that we're going to be shut down so that they can continue to take care of the animals while also observing their social distancing. Okay, so they're not going to go home and, you know, go hang out with a bunch of people. They're just going to get to stay in the zoo with the animals and just hang out with them and the other zookeepers all the time. So that's really fun. All right. I have um, something else. This is a little bit newsier, and this is actually more probably for your parents than you. So if you want to show them this, feel free to. I will also be including links in the information I send out through Dojo, so your parents can also access it there. Okay? So, good news. Remember I talked yesterday about how the IRS is going to be sending out the relief money through your tax returns. Um, now, people who draw Social Security, so um, elderly people who have retired, um, who are drawing that Social Security that they've been paying into, usually don't have to do tax returns because they just, the IRS already knows what they do because they know what their income is. They're the one giving it to them. They usually don't have to do tax returns. They um, were going to have to, and then a bunch of um, senators and representatives in Congress said, hey, that's not fair. Um, that's really against the people who don't usually do this and they don't know what the two. So, um, good news. Social Security beneficiaries will no longer have to file tax returns to get that extra money check in the mail. Um, that will just be automatically issued because the IRS already has the information because of Social Security. All right. Um, back to fun stuff. I know you guys have been kind of bummed lately because you're like, oh, I'm out of school and all this fun stuff, but guess where I cannot go right now? The movies. Okay, so a lot of movie theaters right now are shut down. Pretty much all the movie theaters right now are shut down. Okay, so what the movie companies are doing is they have decided that they're going to start releasing a lot of their stuff early. So you already know there are a lot of really great movies that came out this year in theaters that are already on demand. So you can buy them, you know, pay-per-view through Amazon Prime. Okay, so you can get them on demand. Those are um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Doolittle, Call of the Wild, um, and Trolls as out already super early. Um, what is going to be new is starting tomorrow onward, um, the new movie about the two troll brothers that are going to go find and, you know, recreate their dad, um, is going to be coming out tomorrow on Disney+. Plus. So if you have Disney+, Plus, 
That movie is coming out tomorrow, and you can start watching it, along with Frozen 2, which came out three months earlier than expected. Um, and I'm sure your parents are already sick of hearing all of the Frozen 2 songs. Um, but that is coming out tomorrow. Onward, look for it. Okay. This is what how the U.S. has been responding to coronavirus as we've gone. So we're going to talk about when we started closing, why, you know, when we started asking for money from the federal government, when the governor started doing things, and on and on like that. Okay, it's going to be two minutes, done. All right, so the Trump admin started asking for um, federal funds in the end of February. Okay, so the virus first popped up in China at the end of December 2019. So we end February, at the end of February, the Trump admin asked Congress for some money so that they could build a response. Okay, so you're thinking, why does the president need to ask for money? He's the president. He just does whatever he wants, right? Wrong. We know that because checks and balances. Remember, we learned about that. So the different branches, the executive, judicial, and legislative branch all have different things they do. One thing the legislative branch does, so Congress, is they control the budget. Okay, so they decide what money goes in, what money goes out, who gets to spend it, and on what. Okay, so Congress said, yes, you get money you need. And so the Trump admin started prepping for coronavirus response. All right, so soon after that, we started to restrict travel to affected countries. So they said, hey, if you're coming from this country, you need to be um, either in quarantine for 14 days because that's how long it takes for things to, you know, go through the system. Or you need to just, you can't come here at all. Sorry, like no flights. Okay, so we started doing that. Soon after that is when all of those closings. So you remember that one week where... All of the sports teams canceled, like March Madness was gone, NBA was gone, golf was out, all of that. That was that um, spring break week. So, you know, they started canceling all of that. They canceled concerts and festivals and all of that was because of social distancing. So remember from yesterday, we talked about social distancing. Um, you don't want to be in large groups. You don't want to be within like six feet of people. You want to, you know, stay yourself so that that disease can't pop around in between people. Okay, so they started doing that in the middle of March. So we also restricted travel more in March. So starting in March, we said like no international travel from these, um, from Europe, from um, China, from the Middle East, no travel from there. And then eventually at this point, we pretty much just cut down all international travel. So you can't travel outside the country. You can still travel between states, but that's very iffy, and at this point, you're probably not, I mean, the airports are probably going to shut down soon rather than later, okay? So don't, you know, plan a trip to Chicago for next week, because probably not going to get to go, okay? So after that, U.S. companies, because... We're all in this together. We're a community and we're strong. U.S. companies that don't usually make medical supplies actually started offering to make medical supplies. So um, companies like GM, which is a car company, have started making ventilators, which is just a special kind of medical equipment that people need. Um, fashion designers. So like fashion designers in New York and Los Angeles have started um, creating like caps and gowns and masks for doctors so that all the doctors can have what they need. And I just think it's great. It shows that our communities are really pitching in. Okay. And after that, um, we're at the beginning of April and they just approved that relief bill and that relief bill will be going out by the 17th, but it's $1.2 trillion. And remember trillion more than a billion. Okay, so remember we talked about billion is 32 years worth of seconds and a trillion is 3,200 years worth of seconds or 32. Yeah, that's like, that's a lot of money. So 1.2 trillion and that's going to go to U.S. Um, companies. So our businesses and that's also going to go to the people. So it's going to go to me and you. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of a relief because they know that people are out of work right now. So that was the timeline. That's it. Promised it was going to be super quick. Okay. So I want you guys to tell me, based on the beginning of this video, and you can scroll back because it's a YouTube video, 
I want you to tell me what, um, yeah, when, um, where the Olympics were supposed to be in 2020, where they were supposed to be this year and where they're going to be next year. Okay, I mentioned it because I said the 2020 blank Olympics. So go look for that and tell me the answer. Where were, where were the Olympics supposed to be? You can also Google that question. It'll be easy to find. Okay, now your cultural item for the day, because remember I said two, so your cultural activity for the day is Google Arts and Culture is actually doing tours of some of the most famous museums um, in the world. So you can go for a tour through the Louvre in Paris, through the Guggenheim in New York, through the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art. You can go through all of these beautiful, fantastic museums and see all the art you want on Google Arts and Culture. So I want you guys to go to at least one museum, okay? At some point today or this weekend, I want you to visit at least one museum and then um, tell me what your favorite piece of art that you saw in that museum was, okay? So that's your like group activity for the weekend. Okay, go visit a museum through Google Arts and Culture, and I will include the link um, in the class story, and I will also include it in the message that I send out to your parents, um, and you will be able to visit it. Okay, Miss Davis signing off. Have a great Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow.